Hey everyone, okay, it has been ages since I've done one of these videos, but we are all feeling the cumulative stress of COVID as we are in another lockdown yet again, at least in this area. And when I put it to a poll on my Instagram of where we seem to be feeling the most um, tension, it was, I think two thirds of you voted for our upper body, so neck and mid back and shoulders. So today we are going to focus on restoring a little bit of balance to that area. You're not going to need any equipment, um, but optionally you can grab a hand towel uh, that we'll throw in. Definitely not necessary, but it will help. So hop on over to your mat and we will get started. Okay, we're gonna start in four point. So on hands and knees. And as always, we're going to first just start to connect with our breath. And our breath is the most powerful agent in settling our whole nervous system. And so what we start with here now, continue that throughout um, the little movement flow to really help regulate and bring a bit of calm to your body. So start with an inhale. Feel your belly expand, feel your ribs expand. Hold the inhale, so hold your breath. And then a slow exhale. I like to do a cycle of an inhale, if possible, over the count of six. Hold for the count of four. And an exhale over the count of eight. That's definitely not how I breathe <laughs> with every breath, but when I'm really intentionally trying to um, zone in on my breathing, it's a really good practice to get into. So let's try that again. This time you can add a little bit of body movement to it. So as you inhale, you can round your back, push up through your shoulders, and then as you exhale, Arch your back, lift your head up. Inhale. Hold at the top here. And then exhale. And let it out. If you want to pause the video and continue with this little movement sequence, you can do this for a few minutes. It feels so, so good. But we're going to move on just so you have a chance to try lots of different movements. Now from this position, what you're going to do is just start to round, almost like you're doing a circular motion, changing where your weight bearing pressure is from right hand, right knee, left knee, left hand, and just circle around and you can add a little bit of that same pelvic rib cage movement as you do it. So as I come forward onto my hands, I'm arching through my back, opening through my chest. As I come back to the knees, Doing the opposite. And for all of you that voted for low back and hips, well, you're getting a little <laughs> bad in here too. Good. And just keep making your circle bigger and bigger. So as you come back into the legs, you're starting to feel that stretch through the lats, through the back of your shoulder. And then come up and through, and then just reverse the motion at some point. Take note of the areas that maybe feel a little stickier, a little trickier and if you want to spend a little bit of more time there you can kind of circle back and forth through them as always keep up with your breathing i'm yammering on too much to really be a good example of a nice slow controlled breath but continue to do that through this motion good if you want to hang out back here in child's pose for half a second then feel free to if you're ready to move on, drop down to your forearms. And in this position here, you're going to take one arm and just reach it forward. And by virtue of reaching one arm forward, it sort of twists your upper body in the opposite direction. And then slide that arm back in and then twist the other arm. And you're reaching that arm forward. It's not an aggressive reach. We don't want to feel strain through our shoulder. We want to feel more so that rotation through the mid-back. Sometimes I'll stay in this rotation, rest my head on my arm, and continue some deep breaths here. Come back in, and same thing again to the other side. 
Good. And as I said earlier, each of these movements you could justify doing for a few minutes just on their own. And if any of them resonate with you, then take that one movement and just bring it into your day over the next few days. So you don't necessarily need to do this whole sequence. It's really just trying to give you a good idea of where you're feeling tension and having some strategies to release it. Good, come back up onto your hands and then bring one hand right to the midline of your body. So it's in line sort of with the middle point of your knees. And then with the opposite arm that's not weight bearing, we're going to thread it through, gentle stretch, and then raise it up and around. Good, exhale as we thread through. You can come right down and then lift up and through. And the nice thing about the order that we've done things in so far is that one exercise leads into the next and makes the next movement a little more successful. So we started with very small movements and our movements are getting bigger with longer levers to help um, push our range of motion. And now swap arms, come through right down and then twisting, and my goodness, I am so much stiffer, twisting to the right. And this is the beauty of doing these rotations is you'll really get a sense for where your restrictions are. And you just gently work through them, pushing the range of motion ever so slightly with each rep. Use your breath to help you do so. When you're lifted up and your chest is open is when you wanna do inhales. And when you're closing and rotating down, exhales. Good. Now we're going to transition onto our back. If you need to do a little shake out here, roll the body, move the body, then do so. And this is where you can optionally bring your towel into the mix. It's definitely not necessary, but a nice little bonus. What I like to do is just fold it in half and then roll it down. So you've got a little roll, kind of the same width as your body, ideally. So you're gonna put that down on the ground and then you want the roll as you lie down to kind of be through the middle of your back. So the middle of your shoulder blades, middle of your mid back, I should say. You're gonna come onto your back here and you'll feel the pressure of that roll kind of across. Mine's at the bottom of my um, shoulder blades, maybe slightly before the bottom, okay? Now in this position, I want you to just start with reconnecting with your breath in a supine position and tilting through the pelvis with your breath. So as you inhale, hard to see here, but I'm arching my back, letting my belly expand. And as I exhale, flattening through my back, tilting my pelvis and bringing my pelvis and ribs towards one another in the front. Inhale, expand the distance between my pelvis and ribs in the front. Exhale, bring it closer together. Good, inhale, expand. Exhale, bring together. Good, now as we bring the arms into this motion, I'd like you to sort of find a halfway in between. So with the towel here, it's naturally making me wanna arch my back a little bit more. So I am trying to just find a neutral back curve. Another way to think about it is that my pubic bone and the sort of pokey parts of the pelvis at the side are all in one plane, okay? So I'm not too flexed through my low back and I'm definitely not too arched. So find that position and then bring the arms up towards the ceiling and you're going to start just scissoring the arms. So one arm comes down to the ground above you, one below. And you're really paying attention to not letting the curvature in your back change. So when you have tension through your lats or through the back of your shoulder, the front of your shoulder even, um, as our arm reaches above our head, our tendency is to sort of arch our back to let that touch the ground. We want to dissociate these movements. We want the movement to come through our upper body, our lower body staying nice and neutral and stable. So once this feels easy and smooth and not much effort, bring both arms back to center 
and you're going to inhale and bring both back up behind your head. And this is where you should start to feel a little bit of challenge if you're <laughs> tight like I am. And like most of you who requested this video, I imagine it'll be the same thing, is if you're being honest with yourself, as your arms come up to touch the ground, your back is really wanting to arch up to accomplish that. So keep the low back neutral, reach those arms up above the head and back down. Again, bring your breath into it if you're starting to hold your breath. Inhale as the arms come up, exhale as they come down. If you want to shimmy a bit and readjust where that towel is falling along your back, feel free to. And up and down we go with the arms. Now as this starts to become a little smoother, a little less challenging, then you can keep the arms up above the head and then you're going to take the legs or the knees as they are together and drop them down to one side, keeping opposite arm shoulder on the ground. If you want to remove the towel for this, you can if it's feeling a bit too aggressive. If you want to continue with the previous iterations of the exercise because you're not quite feeling smooth with those motions, then go for that as well. And then drop to the other side. Pay attention to where you're feeling tension with this. And then come up. Good, and a couple more here out to the side. You can play around with your arms, reaching further, almost like someone's pulling at your arms gently above your head as the legs move side to side. You can also increase it by crossing the legs. So as I cross the leg and drop down, that's definitely more of a pull again through the lats, through the QL, the low back, through the side body. And then I can cross the other leg as I drop to the other side. Woo! Feeling that. Okay, good. Come up, and then as we take things through different planes of motion, you're going to flip on over to your belly. That's comfortable. Some people like the having their towel either where their head is going to go, or alternatively, kind of on the top part of their chest. I kind of like it at the top part of my chest, but do what feels comfortable to you. Fix your hair like me if you need to. And then this is where we start to do a little bit of muscle recruitment. So it's all well and dandy to do lots of mobility work, but with that comes stability work. So when we open up more movement to our joints and to our body, we then need to work the small muscles that help um, maintain that movement and mobility. And this is where the back body comes in. So think of it as an overgeneralization. The front of our bodies are much more active <laughs> for lack of a better word, tight, you can read that as, um, and our back bodies are a little bit stretched out and weak. So here we're going to get them moving. So come down so your head is on the mat, hands are at your side, sort of where your armpits are, equal with that level, and then from here what you're going to do is just hover the hands up without feeling your bum clench or your low back tighten. Okay, so hover those hands with the rest of the body staying nice and quiet. If you're able to do that successfully, keep your head down. I'm just turning it to the side so that you can hear my voice. If you can do that successfully, then bring the arms wide out to the sides. Again, make sure bum is not clenched, legs are relaxed, low back is relaxed. You feel this activity happening right in the back of your shoulder blades. If that's feeling okay, then do some gentle little pulses with the arms. Again, there should be no or very little activity happening in the low back. And the majority of where you're feeling this is around the shoulder blades. We're not squeezing the shoulders together. We're simply lifting the arms up maybe a centimeter or two. Small movement, controlled movement. And pulse there, eight, seven, six, keep that back relaxed. Four, three, two, 
one. Then bring your arms up, sort of 45 degree angle, okay? Same thing, can you hover, you can bring the elbows in a little bit to decrease the lever arm there. Can you hover the hands without squeezing through the bum and lots of tension in your low back? If that feels good, bring them out to the Y and then lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring them back down, take a little rest. And then we're just going to move between those two positions. So we lift up here, quiet body, down, up, down, up. Good, here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring the arms down and in, and then just turn your head to one side, feel a little stretch through your neck. See when you turn your head, what part of you is touching, what part of your face is touching the mat. Is it all the way over to your ear? Is it more your cheekbone? It's indicative of what that range of motion of rotation is in your neck. And then turn the opposite way and take note of that direction. I'll stick over here so that you can hear my voice. But it's always interesting, um, you know, as we lie down like this to get a good sense of what our neck rotation range of motion is passively. But the ground helping us here. And then can you lift your head and try and rotate it a bit further? So if it's your cheekbone touching the mat, can you lift it slightly and then get your ear to touch the mat and then settle it back down? And then can you lift your head ever so slightly and rotate it a bit further? Good, do a couple breath cycles here and then repeat on the opposite side. This is a great exercise in and of itself, and gosh, how lovely is it to be told that this is an exercise. <laughs> when you're done with that, <clears throat> I don't wanna leave this position. When you're done with that, come on up into sitting. So the nice thing about this flow is that we've gone from four point to lying on our backs, to lying on our bellies and now in sitting, okay? And that's a really good sign of a good little flow is that you're taking your body through these different positions. And then it also gives you different ideas of ways to integrate these little movements throughout your day. So when you're lying down, when you're sitting, you've got sort of different little movements you can, can bring in. And that's what makes a big difference. So in sitting here, what I want you to do, I'm gonna turn sideways just so you can see my spine. So sit up nice and tall here. If cross-legged feels too much, you can have them out in front of you. You could sit on a yoga block, but essentially you want your pelvis to be nice and vertical, which in turn will make your, your back nice and straight. In this position, you're going to start almost like you've got a skewer through your ears and you're rotating your head down. So chin kind of comes to the mid neck not to our collarbone, kind of mid-neck. And once we're there, we just slowly roll ourselves down, almost like we're rolling up like a cinnamon bun. All the way down, 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 down. And when I get to about here, I feel lots of juicy tension through my mid-back, what I would call nerve tension. Feels like a pull, Feels a little gross, but a little good at the same time. I'm not staying here for long. I'm not trying to really stress my nervous system. I'm then gonna come back up and in the reverse order, restack my spine. Inhale, exhale, do that again. Tuck chin to mid neck and slowly roll yourself down, rolling up those vertebrae one at a time so you sort of hit that tension point. For some people, they can add a little bit more of a very, very gentle pull through their head here. And then come back up, stack in one vertebrae, all the way up, 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 up. Excellent, let's do one more. Back down we go. Down, 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 down. Maybe you'll get a little further this time. 
if you want, hands on the head. I don't even want to use the word pull. It's almost like the weight of your hands on your head. Give that little extra bit of traction. And then you come back up, stacking vertebrae one at a time. And that is it, my friends. That is uh, one example of how you can release some of that tension or create a little bit more balance through your neck, shoulders, and mid-back. So I hope it was helpful for you. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. As always, this is not meant to be diagnostic or medical advice in any sort of way. So if you are having um, more serious issues, please consult a healthcare provider. And I hope to be back on here soon to see you all.